The National Sugar Development Council wants a full implementation of the zero import duty incentive on machines. It wants the incentive implemented as contained in the country's sugar master plan, saying this will help drive local production in the country. A sugar stakeholders roundtable on challenges associated with implementation of zero import duty incentive for operators of the backward integration program. Top on the agenda is scaling up local production of sugar, which presently stands at 1.7 million tons, which the country produces less than half of. The challenges are identified and solutions to them sought. What are the challenges and based on all our discussion here, the challenges and the resolution that we provide. We've actually spent a lot of money on sugar importation of the economy. And this actually eats into uh, forex consumption in the economy. Several cogs exist in the wheel of machine importation for factory and field operations in the sugar production process. Participants feel the total implementation of the zero import duty as contained in the sugar master plan could make a big difference and take a huge financing burden of local sugar processors. Because of the commitment we have for, I mean, to this country and Nigeria, I mean, and to the country in general, and our desire to make sure that the sugar master plan works, we know what we spent and what we, and what we have committed to the sugar master in the, to the PIP project. The customs on its part pledges commitment to making the machinery import process for sugar production more seamless. When there is this development, when, when more people and you know, obey the um, obey the economic policy of governments. What you to translate is that the customs duty, the collectible, will do what? It will reduce. The talks end with participants hoping a positive difference will now be seen in the sugar making industry when the zero import duty incentive is indeed fully implemented by the authorities. While waiting for this to happen. The fiscal authorities advise that backward integration policy operators in the sugar subsector follow laid down policies and procedures so they can effectively benefit from waivers covering import duties, port charges, and value added tax. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.